Okay, here looking at foliar feeding. Now this, just as the name implies, involves feeding the leaves or feeding the foliage of your plant. I'm going to go over a little bit about some of the basics of this process. So first off, it involves the simple act of applying fertilizer on the actual leaf surface. Often diluted application rates of 1 to 100 or greater are often suggested. Anything higher concentration than that when you're applying it to the leaves, um, depending again what product you're using, but you increase the odds of burning the leaves. So you want to be mindful when applying things to the leaves that the odds of burning can increase. And there's ways we can go about uh, reducing that, and one is through dilution rate. Now then it's the equipment you're using. So the finer the water droplet, the better the coverage the plants will get and the more efficient application of the product. Hand pump sprayers are very entry level, they're very easy to get, uh, they're very cost effective, but they tend to produce larger water droplets. If you're looking at misters or foggers are often recommended because of that fine uh, water droplet that they're creating, increasing the interaction of that particular product and the leaf surface, which allows it to be taken up much more efficiently. Now looking at the time of day that you apply is also an important consideration. You want to watch out for periods of high heat and light intensities as these can increase the odds of burning the leaves no matter what product you're using. Typically early, early morning or late evening for outdoor growers is recommended to reduce the burning but also increase the efficiency due to the higher percentage of leaf stomata being open. Stomata basically pours in the leaf and if they're open you can get that particular product that you're applying into the leaf a lot more efficiently. I mentioned this is for outdoor growers, early morning we're looking at, for indoor growers we're looking at soon before maybe lights come on, or definitely at least not during peak lighting. Uh, maybe just kind of before they come on or just after they go off, maybe other options for um, indoor growers to maximize foliar feeding and minimize the damage. Also for foliar feeding you can use spreaders and stickers. What a spreader is, is it reduces the surface tension to allow for the applied products to produce flat droplets to increase the amount of leaf surface interaction. It literally, if this is a normal water droplet, it spreads that out to create that nice interaction. You can see here, here's our entire product, and we're only having this level of interaction. Here, we're having ideally the same volume of water, but a lot greater interaction. You could see the extreme example here where we're having again that minimum interaction that spreaders uh, will help spread that out. This is because leaves have a waxy surface to them which is hydrophobic which is repelling the water so the spreader helps kind of negate some of the negatives of the polar compounds of water and help spread them out to increase that interaction. There's also something called stickers and these reduce the chance of water splash from washing off the plant leaf surface. It literally will help them adhere or stick to the leaf surface. So if you have a spreader sticker combination, then only you're getting the higher contact of our spreader, but the sticker is actually making it adhere to the leaves a little bit more efficiently. The benefits of these spreader stickers, again, help increase the contact between the liquid and the leaf surface, uh, makes the products more effective. So this can be a great way to maximize that um, use of the product and ensure that that leaf is getting a very even coverage throughout. However, the drawbacks is some products are not recommended to be mixed with spreader stickers, so know what product you're using and know if there is any potential negative interactions with adding such product. You also, um, spreader stickers can make some products work what's called too well. It increases the odds of burning. Uh, so sometimes if you're using a spreader sticker, you might want to cut back on the dilution, you might want to increase that dilution rate a little bit more and cut back on uh, maybe go with a very small amount or smaller amount as you work your way up. To reduce the chance of spray damaging or grower you know induced uh, plant leaf burning through the use of foliar feeding which can be effective um, at increasing especially if there's deficiencies uh, but we want to be mindful of some of the concerns that are also associated with it and typically this is a little bit more of a quicker fix we want to be managing the vast majority of our nutrients through the growing media that we're choosing to use